Yeah, playing to knowledge. Yeah, yeah. playing to knowledge. Yeah, playing. You've done it in eighty one. No, some chap called Antonio Sheffield asked to play in nineteen eighty one. Fantastic, they like that. Yeah. Well, that's what it's nice when you have it open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Once you, once you get the sign on the back. Like that, are we? Yeah, it's not a bad line. Yeah. Painted in 1981. On the back, Alex, if you would have bought it. Yeah, you watch it, so I'm going to use this green pen, he said. Yeah. Irish green, are we? Irish green. Too far. Uh, t to Ben. My lad. To your painter. No, that, somebody painted that for me, Alex. So tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Adam Duffy. And uh, so who are you playing tonight? I'm playing uh, Alex Higgins, the legend. <laughs> Any thoughts about that? Um, no, not really. Just can't wait to get on the table and see what you can offer. Yeah, and are you nervous about it? No, not really. I've played in a few exhibitions now, so I'm uh, well up for it. Yeah, so what are your chances? We'll see what we, when when the balls get open and see what, see what balls it leaves me. Hopefully, I can. And what's your background? Are you like a promising uh, snooker player? Um, uh, I've been crowned the 2008 Poland scholarship, so uh, hopefully I'll be a future star. Good, good for you. Well, it's been worth a few quick few years' time. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Yes. Carl, what happened to the car tonight? Well, I don't, we we were um, leaving St Paul's Hotel and uh, John just decided to crash the Bentley into like a big pole. Was it his fault? Yeah, big time. Yeah, but he's a good lad, he's an honest lad. Yeah. And he said he'd pay to have it fixed. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just a bit fucking annoyed that someone can drive into a post, basically. Is it his first accident? Uh, no, no, he drives a bit aggressive. Most short people do. Yeah, he's, he's fast, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's a fast mover. Aggressive. <laughs> Very apologetic. Uh, post office van could have let us out. Right. And he never, so we'd gone close by him, reversed. Yeah. And we've hit one of these, like, post things. There's always a fucking post office van. Bang on. Done about 10 grand worth of damage. Yeah. Frick. But he's a good lad underneath it all. He's a good, he's a good lad, but because it's a big car, it's very, he's very aggressive. You have to get some cushion for him to sit on. Yeah, no, it goes up, it's a Bentley. It goes up oh, right. like that, it's frightening. I get in it, I'm touching the ceiling. He can get to Cornwall in about two hours. No, he's he? a good lad, you know that. Yeah, yeah he's brilliant. So what happened at the, uh, the qualifier, Jim? Well, it's absolutely devastated Liam, as you know, because yeah. he was with me. I've been practising for six weeks solid. And I was putting in five or six hours a day. And I was making uh, six, seven centuries a day. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm playing Drago and David Gray, but um, I made two 147s the week going up to it. And I drove up on a Saturday night, I play on a Monday. And um, I woke up on a Sunday morning and I, I've got a crick neck. I don't know if you're in a crick neck. I couldn't put my chin on the crick. So I left the, left the academy at half nine. I went to a doctor's, I had two massages, and I just couldn't get rid of it. And uh, Sunday night I felt like crying. I knew I couldn't play, I couldn't put my chin on the queue. I was horrified. It's absolutely devastating for you. I was it actually gutted, and I think, you know, you put in the work and all that. Yeah. But, you know, I've abused it, maybe it's tit for tat, whatever, you know what I mean? But the only good thing I got, that I got to such a good standard, yes. that, you know, I was shocked myself. But, but I w was in the snooping club every morning at, 10 o'clock till 5 o'clock. How, how did you react afterwards? I, mean, you must I was gutted. fucking gutted, Liam. I was yeah. gutted. I had, um, I had three or four days I was in, like, probably in a slump, you know. But uh, it's only a game, but when you've worked that hard, I was yeah, being a bit of a bad boy, I was gutted. Absolutely. But, but next year, I mean, does it give you hope for next year? Well, it gave me a fantastic belief because yeah. even though in my heart I still think I can win yeah. and I still think I can play, as you know, being on the road with the exhibitions, that's yeah. difficult. Yeah. But I got to such a great standard, I even felt for all, you know, anything can happen. Yeah, yeah. You know, no disrespect to Mark King, but I'd have liked to have, um, you know, to have played half that I was playing. Yeah, you'd and have I'd have done all right. God, I couldn't put a ball, I couldn't hit a safety shot. I hit a safety shot and I either missed them all together or hit them three quarter ball. I couldn't get down on the queue. Do you think you just sort of work yourself up so much about it? Well, there was, there's three um, opinions, basically, professional opinions. One, that you can get a quick neck, you can, like, a bit of tension yes. and make your neck see. 
The second one, you can get a draft from driving. Yes. And the third one is a bit of dampness, which they believe is the main one. Well, and you can get that from a, a window in a hotel. But the drive as well, driving, you can get it. And my neck completely seized up. How, how was it afterwards? Did it take a long time? It took about a week before, you know, I could, I could um, my neck felt okay. Would you, would you practice like that again? Oh yeah, big time. It gave me great belief. But it was just a bit unfortunate, you know, and they've got to be realistic. It was just one of those things. Yeah, um, sorry to interrupt you and drugs. And tell us something about the hurricane. Well, it's just, he was my hero when I was a kid. Um, he done things on the snooker table that I've only seen since with Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah. Phenomenal player, phenomenal winner. Well, Great love, great. he started to love the game again now. He wants to play all these exhibitions and uh, it's not for me to say, but I've heard a rumour he's going to go and play on the circuit. So. I've said, I've heard a rumour you're going to go and play on the circuit again this year. You. It's certainly on form tonight. Yeah, it's a bit, um, it's a bit hot out there tonight. Yeah, so you feel like you're melting. Yeah, wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 